Okay. All right. So, um, okay. Yeah, so the way that I have my grass set up, you know, I got all this nice fancy grass. Whoops, kind of looking at her head, but... Uh, the grass is really, really cool. I like the colors that I got working for the grass. Um, and a lot of... Uh, a lot of simple things go into uh, it's it's a uh, how would I explain it? it it's like a it's like a mesh of a lot of things but there are a lot of simple things that go together to make the grass actually look pretty good um, uh, so one thing to know is that the the grass um the grass mesh, the texture that makes up the grass picture, um, does not have to be, you know, a fancy grass picture. This grass actually is kind of cartoony. It's not like a more realistic grass. Um, I just chose it because this is my favorite grass out of the asset pack that I, that I got the grass from. So this is what I was just using uh, at the moment. So <clears throat> what I want you to see is that on the terrain, we're going to go on edit the grass mesh. That the um, healthy and the dry color are basically one in one, like similar. Like, um, take a look at the dry color. It is a green. It's, yeah, it's, it, I would say this is, this is pretty much green. But I want you to take a look at the saturation. Uh, saturated colors are probably the best colors that you can use for making you know good looking grass um i don't want to move it because i was moving it earlier and i kind of fucked it up and i finally just got it back to the nice like right color that i have it um what you want to do is you just don't if you can imagine like a little box right here probably like maybe right here there's like a little box stay out of this corner like, try not to choose any colors from that corner, and you should be okay. Now, um, the dry color, it's pretty much almost the same thing. I just chose a slightly lighter color. Um, I'm going to change this song, because what the fuck? I like ambient. All right, fuck it. Okay, so uh, the grass does billboard. Um, if I don't have the grass billboard, I think something weird happens. Let me see. Yeah, um, if if I don't have the grass billboard, then you can you can see the middle of the grass. Basically, um, the light that's passing right there—that's actually the waves of the grass. Um, non-billboarding grass is usually only good if the camera is going to stay at, like, maybe this height. So you can't see the ground. But the moment you start coming up, up here, you know, you start getting, you start seeing the ground texture. I don't have one at the moment. So, it's a good idea to keep billboarding of the grass on. It doesn't even look that bad. You really, really can't tell the difference. Um, it's just going to make it so the grass is always facing us. Yeah, even if we're looking straight down on it. So. Alright. So the combination of things that I, I do to make this grass work is. One, the colors. Two, is the shit ton of image effects that are going in to this camera. So we take a look at the image effects I got going on. This is pretty much. Okay. So we have bloom. Very slight bloom. I just hated how dark the scene was. You probably can't even tell a difference. I'm, I'm checking it. I'm checking it right now. A very, very slight difference. I just kind of hated how dark the scene was. Okay, camera motion blur. That really doesn't affect the look of the grass. Neither does this. Um, tilt shift doesn't either. It's very slight tilt shift. Um, screen space, ambient occlusion. Okay. SSAO kind of gives the grass a nice look to it. 
Uh, without SSAO, the grass looks very flat. Um, when we're using two colors that are so close to each other in terms of the healthy and dry colors, um, it's going to look like kind of like one color. One thing that we need to do is um, none of these... I don't want to say this because it's going to be wrong, basically. Um, what we can do with SSAO is we can make it look like the grass is kind of casting a shadow on each other. So when we turn on SSAO, we can see the dark kind of patches start... Um, you can see it a lot on the hill. Um, actually, you can see it a lot in the foreground, too. You, uh, We can start seeing, you know, the dark crevices that start, you know, building up as we get deeper into the grass. I'm sorry if I'm explaining this stupidly. Um, I'm really bad at explaining stuff. Just kind of take what I what I do from here and make it look better. Um, screen space ambient occlusion. It kind of gives us like a slight like overshadow too on, on different things. Um, basically makes dark dark corners and dark creases happen. Um, I think we can see it on this. Yeah. Do you see this dark areas? Basically the... the um, where, where two edges meet, it's going to create a dark area in between it. Um, I think it does a lot to make the grass look good. Um, this is just kind of flat, very cartoony grass. I mean, the, this whole scene kind of looks cartoony, but um, I wanted to add a, a little bit of realism to it. So, you know, uh, SSAO is way to go. Um, I don't think AA really affects grass that much. Nope. I do have a color correcting script on. Though it doesn't affect the color. This is the this is the true color of the grass right here. This is the true color of the grass. But I have a color correcting script that kind of gives it this yellowish tint to everything. I just think it looks a little bit better. Um, another thing to take into account is that in our terrain the grass tint is also a saturated green this is like the overall t this is um i don't i don't really know how to explain it correctly um let's see okay yeah i was just making sure that didn't save um, we can give it like a blue tint, which I used a lot. We can give it like a reddish tint. Though I wouldn't rely on tints as making the color of your grass. Just rely on tints to just kind of help your grass. Let me see. So I can make it this wonky color. And I hit play. Ah, oh, fuck, that did save. Shit. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll fix it right now. That's pretty much what I had. Kind of. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so that's basically everything that you have to do. Um, I think the speed of the wind was a lot more I'm not sure exactly but I have mine set to around I think uh, point 0.4 that seems to work the best and um, what else what else what else do I do what else do I do lighting fog of course helps but I use fog as like an atmospheric kind of haze you can see it kind of like affect the Oh my god. Alright, come down. Alright. I, um, the, the, the fog tends to kind of just affect, you know, far distance stuff, but if you want to know my fog color, I go with a blue and do a very whitish blue haze, um, to, to kind of mimic the atmospheric haze kind of thing. What else, what else, what else? Um... In the sun, I actually have two. Where are they at? Here's one of them. Here's the other one. Okay. I actually have two directional lights in my scene. 
Um, my main directional light, go back to my inspector, my main directional light is just a simple, you know, the deep light that came with the, um, that comes with the scene. This is the, the, the one intensity yellowish sun color that is with every unity scene. But, um, from my low poly, from my low poly fooling around, I did in Blender to make uh, those low poly assets, I learned a little rendering trick that you can do. So if we take a directional light and we duplicate it, and we set the intensity to a much lower, lower value, but it is still emitting light, and we make it a, we make it brighter. The other directional lights uh, color value is somewhere around here. This one is, you know, a little bit more to the left. It's it's a it's a lighter color value. If we enable this, it'll make our scene a bit brighter. We have to make sure that there are no shadows being cast. Right, because I mean, if we have two shadows in different directions, um, it's not gonna look good. So your your sun helper, I guess that's what I can call it, uh, won't cast any shadows. It's only gonna be maybe about maybe a half or quarter of your original light. It's gonna be a lot. Uh, it's gonna be a, a a lighter color as well, and that just kind of gives you. Um, I think it gives more realistic shadows. You see the shadow it actually kind of has like a. It's like a like a it's like a transparent gray, but if we disable it, it turns into a dark dark color. That's not really the kind of shadows that I like. It's also lighting up, you know, this part of the rock as well. You know, you can't even see that there's a fucking corner here until boop. It also does a ton to help out on the grass. Okay, that's pretty much all I did. Uh, image effects. Uh, two directional lights, um, tint, and just mess around with some settings and you get some badass grass. Alright.